Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will discuss about the syllabus of Bihar Public Service Commission exam for the post of Assistant Architect. Notification of this exam was came earlier this year. Registration date was between 21st February to 11th March 2024. So candidate who have a full time Bachelor of Architecture degree were eligible for this post and total number of vacancies for this post was 106. That's why it becomes very important exam for architects. Process of selection comprises on two bases. First by the written exam and secondly by evaluation of work experience. Written exam will be of 300 marks and will have 75 objective type questions and to solve these 75 questions candidate will have uh, two hours of time but you have to be very careful because there will be one third of negative marking on each incorrect answer i hope you already registered for the exam and if you want more tips and important question related to this exam don't forget to subscribe our channel so hello guys my name is rahul and you're watching architecture and planning with rahul in this video i will discuss the entire syllabus in detail also i will suggest you some books for each section so exam will have three part part a will be common for architecture and planning students in part b1 questions will be related to architecture and in part b2 mostly planning related question will be there now i have divided this three parts into eight subsections so it will be easier to understand and study so first section is related to architecture and design in which question will be based on visual composition principle of art and architecture organization of space architectural graphics also question based on autocad softwares there will be question of planning and design consideration for different building types basic understanding of site planning barrier free design or universal design guidelines building codes such as NBC, DCRs. Other than this, question will be based on vernacular and traditional architecture, history of architecture from Indus Valley civilization to industrialization and then modernization. Apart from this, you should have basic understanding of some famous architecture theories such as Art Nouveau, Eclecticism, International Styles, Postmodernism and Deconstruction in Architecture. But mostly the question will be based on Indian history of architecture such as Indus Valley Civilization, Ancient History, Vastu Sastra, Silp Sastra, Temple Architecture and Architectures of different dynasties. And to clear understanding of the history of architecture, you can watch an epidal video on history of architecture. Other than this, you can refer some book based on history of Indian architecture. Lastly, question will be based on renowned architects, both national and international. Also, you should know about their philosophy and ideology. Second section is related to building material, construction and management. So in this section, you have to study about the building materials such as bricks, woods, timber, stones, etc. Then various construction techniques associated with these materials such as type of wands, type of joints, etc. Prefabricated material will also be part of this section. Other than this, building estimation, specification, valuation and question will be related to professional practice. Apart from this, project management techniques such as PERT and CPM are also part of this section. So for the study of this, you can refer some books on building constructions and material such as Rangwala and Sushil Kumar. Third section is related to building and structures in which you have to study about the strength of materials their elastic and plastic character. There will be question based on design of structural elements such as wood, steel and RCC. In this particular section, you have to study about the principle and design of disaster resistance structures like what are the standards for earthquake resistance building. Apart from this, question will be based on various loads and force acting on a building such as lateral load, axial load or gravitational load. Next section is about planning and design. And for this, you have to study about the various ecosystem and ecological principles, topics such as concept of environment impact analysis and consideration of environment in planning and design are also part of this section. This section also includes the topics like acoustic, lighting and illumination. Other than this, various standards such as ECBC, green building and Griha rating are also important. Lastly, you should know about the various environment pollutions 
their type causes and various strategies to control them fifth section is about urban design in which concept and theories of urban design is very important design guidelines related to sustainable development public realm and various elements of urban built environment such as urban spaces structures patterns fabrics textures and how it affects the urban design some other important topics of this sections are development control regulations such as far densities building bylaws so these are the documents that helps in shaping the building apart from this site planning is also important you can read some books of jane jacobs her some of the famous books are eyes on the street and death and life of great american cities sixth section is about urban planning and housing in which you have to study about the various plans and hierarchy of urban planning which includes zonal development plans action area plan town planning schemes and regional plans urban planning theories are also important such as garden city multiple nuclei theory neighborhood cities radiant cities and other famous urban planning theories in housing sector question will be based on housing typologies housing for special areas and needs affordable housing various schemes of government associated with affordable housing such as pma by various policies such as national housing policies programs and schemes seventh section is about planning techniques and management in which question will be based on various tools and techniques of surveys such as physical topographical land use and socio economic surveys this section mainly covers the application of gis so analysis of non spatial or spatial data is important with graphical presentation of spatial data it also include the remote sensing technique used in urban and regional planning which is helpful in decision making so topic like decision support system and land information systems also related to that other than this urban economics such as law of demand and supply of land social economical and environmental cost benefit analysis also techniques of financial appraisal management of infrastructure project apart from this various guidelines such as urdpfi guidelines planning legislation and their implementation are also important and lastly various policies models and acts such as land acquisition act ppp model and local self governance structure is also part of this section this last section is about services infrastructure and transportation so this covers the physical infrastructure part such as water supply sewerage drainage system from a building level to a city level then comes the urban infrastructure such as transportation water supply sewerage drainage solid waste management electricity and communications as this section covers the transportation part so various process and principle of transport planning and traffic engineering is important which includes traffic survey methods traffic flow characteristics traffic analysis travel demand forecasting land use transportation design of roads intersection grade separators and parking areas and some design consideration related to this other major part of this section is water supply from a individual building level to a city level so it is important to understand the water treatment process its distribution system how water is harvested and planning and design of storm water drainage system sewage disposal methods method of solid waste management from collection to transportation and then disposal lastly recycle and reuse of solid waste management so basically this section covers the design and guidelines of physical infrastructure basically this section covers the design and guidelines for various services physical infrastructure and transportation so this was the syllabus last me doston iske exam date ko bhi leke kafi confusions thi mujhe kafi logon ne comment bhi kiya ki kya exam cancel ho gaya hai but bpsc calendar mein tentative dates dikha rahi thi 14th aur 15th june 2024 and even before the 2 3 days of the exam 
There was no such notification published by BPSC, but 12 June को एक notification आया regarding the exam of assistant architect, जिसमें उन्होंने clear कर दिया कि भवन निर्माण विभाग के अंतर्गत सहायक वास्तुविद और assistant architect के कुल 106 post की जो नियुक्ति परीक्षा होनी थी उसकी संभावित डेट हो चुकी है 18 जुलाई 2024. Still this date is a tentative date, and there will be chances of further postponing of this date. so this was an important notice that was very important for all of you to know about dosto is channel par kafi sare purane videos hain jisme aapko kafi sare previous year questions mil jayenge these videos will be very helpful for upsc assistant architect haryana psc assistant architect or bihar public service commission assistant architect exams please check all of them that's all in this video milenge aapse agle video mein until then goodbye